I don't want to take a uh, regular old Easter egg. This one right here is actually a slightly larger, kind of like a medium sized egg. But you can do it with a small egg too. Uh, take one of these. A lot of these eggs have uh, holes in the bottom from the manufacturing process. So I'm just going to like, make it airtight. Tape those up so that no resin leaks out of them. And the top one, you're actually going to want to make them bigger. Big enough to pour some thick resin in. steady because obviously it's going to fall over. I'm going to just take a piece of clay. You can use anything you want. You could like if you get a shot glass you can just stick it in a shot glass like that. But I'm just going to take a piece of clay. It's really uh, this is extra firm Sculpey so just uh, making it a little more malleable here. And let's see. Push that in there like so, and there we go, that ain't going nowhere. Okay, then, hopefully you get some resin so you can do this project, or hopefully the, I shouldn't say hopefully, because maybe you shouldn't be going out, considering the circumstances, but uh, hopefully you already have some resin at home. If you're looking up resin crafts, you may have already bought some. And if you don't, Maybe there's a craft store open in your area, and it probably won't be that busy. You can go in there and get some resin and get out and sanitize your hands before and after you go in the store. Don't touch your face. Actually, uh, now that I think about it, don't touch your face is a uh, policy I always have when I'm working with resin. A lot of times I wear gloves. Because you don't want to get resin on your face. That's not a good time. This resin stuff, I don't know if it's necessarily bad for you, it probably is. I'm not some sort of expert on chemical analysis and all that, but uh, it's a huge pain in the butt to get off. Alright, that looks about even. This first egg. I think I'm going to do, uh, I think I'm going to do a light blue, so just one drop of resin. And mix this up. It's really important to mix this very well. The, one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they uh, work with resin is they don't mix it enough. you got to really mix it. I just want to mix for another minute at least. And uh, for this project, I don't care about the bubbles. Alright, so this is about ready. Probably still a little bit tacky, but... Alright, this ought to do the trick. Just, uh, ow. There we go. Cracked our egg. There's the top half. Looks pretty nice. Look how shiny that is. Oh, the bottom part came up. And there's a little bit of red that I added to the bottom. It actually doesn't look that bad. It's like a little blood egg. And it didn't mix much at all. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. Mixed a little bit. There's definitely more bubbles. You can't even see through the red part. It's too many bubbles. But anyway, uh, then uh, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to take this and sand it into whatever shape that I want or I could leave it like this just polo polish up the edges so it stays nice and round but I like mine to look a little more crystalline 
So uh, I already did that while I was waiting while I was waiting for this to cure. I took the other ones that I'd prepared ahead of time and I went and sanded them uh, into these. There's nothing geometrical about this. I just hit it on the sander a bunch of times as you'll see in the video um, until it kind of looks like this. And the reason I like it like this is because once I get these polished up, the light's going to shine through those like a crystal and it's just going to look awesome. I mean, this looks awesome, but this looks really awesome with all the little um, facets. All right, I'm going to film this the best I can. This is not an optimal uh, setup that I got here. seen this already instead of going through an hour of polishing each one I just clean it down wipe it down as much as possible after sanding it and I paint some more resin on just like that I gotta get a better camera or a better tripod at least so that I can actually show what I'm doing on camera. I should be wearing gloves right now, but due to the epidemic, the uh, coronavirus going around, good luck finding gloves. Just wash your hands really good after this, especially if you get anything on them. Don't want to use too much or you'll get end up with drip marks. You don't want drip marks on your crystal, but look at that. That's half of it done so far. 
and it looks crystal clear now as opposed to this one which you can't see through at all. So I've done half of it so far and I'm only going to do half of it until this part sets which will take about a day. Alright, today is another day and as you can see these are looking very nice, the top half anyways, which I painted with resin yesterday. It's about to look even better once I paint the bottom. I'm going to flip these upside down. Not sure how I feel about this one. I left part of this round and faceted another part. I don't know. I still like the color, but... Doing kitty. Don't get too close to this resin. You're gonna get fur all over it. Alright. There's another one. Look how clear that looks. I can't believe people waste their time polishing. And here we go, all cured. I wish it was sunny out so that I could show you what they look like in the sun, but unfortunately it's been raining for the last three days. So I got this little LED light. Let's see. I think they look even better in natural sunlight, but they look good like this too. Would you stop attacking the furniture cat? This is the one that I made previously. Anyways, hope you like this video. It uh, wasn't the best setup in the world. I gotta still figure out my new setup in my new apartment, but should work. 